and that is it full time Manchester United have won 4-2 4-2 Sheffield United of course we expected it right we expected it I mean the game did not go as planned but we expected we were gonna win tonight I mean one of the worst teams actually the worst team the worst team in the Premier League we've got to win and we went ahead and won we went ahead and won but yeah guys let me know in the chat who's your man of the match if 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 Bruno Fernandez is your man of the match make sure you smash a like on the stream make sure you smash a like on the stream if Bruno Fernandez is your man of the match but look it's been a comfortable win I feel like there's a lot of people that got on a, on a goal ski uh, on a on a score sheet Bruno Fernandez of course two goals and also assisted uh the last goal for Rasmus Wallen that's a great night great night all around I mean Bruno scoring two magnificent goals I mean one from penalty spot and one great goal from outside the box and also finding a, a great pass for Rasmus Hoyland to get his goal look comfortable night comfortable night in the end it didn't look comfortable at the start I mean first half was pretty much even we had lots of shots on goal but again it was a close game but in the end as expected really as expected we put we put we put Sheffield United to the to, to the floor we just put them to the floor really they can't compete they can't compete they're gonna get relegated right now they can't compete and on another good news on another good news is the fact that Newcastle United is losing right now let's just quickly check I think they've lost their game they were losing one nail against Crystal Palace uh Yes, they have lost 2-0. So they have lost 2-0. That means it puts a 6, as you can see at the table right now. Uh, it puts a 6. Uh, try to catch Tottenham. Tottenham do have a game against um, Arsenal tomorrow. I mean, uh, uh, in the weekend. So, look, we still have a chance. We still have a chance uh, to finish at least top 6. But this, not, this, this is not going to change anything, guys. It's not going to change anything. Eric Ten Hag is still going to be under pressure. Uh, this win doesn't really ease off the pressure on him. Even today, first half, we were not convincing at all. The performance was just off the cuff, really. But second half, we we just completely destroyed them in the second half. We just completely destroyed them in the second half. But all in all, I felt like great win. Great win for Manchester United. Uh, we move. We move on to the next round meaning uh to, the, to, to our next game so our next game is against uh let's just quickly check so our next game is against uh against burnley at home we're playing burnley at home uh at uh at, on on saturday so that should be another win i mean crystal palace this should be another win as well so we need to continue this momentum try to catch some sort of momentum and take that take that to the Manchester City game that's all I ask for right now because the only thing we're playing for right now is the FA Cup and let's try to make sure we get some some sort of consistency and some sort of form uh, going into that match but yeah guys thank you all for watching thank you all for watching uh, every single one of you every single one of you on, uh, on Facebook make sure like I said I can't stress that enough make sure all of you you uh, follow our YouTube channel, Goals Bible is the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us. But thank you all for watching. Malika, Chimpa, Pirli, Peister, Jack, Eric, all of you, Oba, Prosper. Thank you all for watching. I'll definitely see you guys on the next one. Peace.